I am so excited to be here to have this conversation with you too. My illustrious colleagues and friends and two people that I love, Christy Shelley and Rachel Patton. We are so excited to talk about moving to higher ground and how meaningful it was to both of us. Mm -hmm. um, our first question is, what is moving to higher ground? Moving to higher ground is a outdoor camp-like experience for a wide variety of clinicians and disciplines who are interested in supporting and expanding themselves through personal growth development, as well as their clinical skills in treating and supporting kids and youth. Kim, how did moving to higher ground come into existence? That's such a fun question. It's a combination of camp experiences that I had in my own history uh, of a combination of Camp Avanti, which was created by Pat Wilbarger. Well, I first attended way back in the 1980s for kids with neurodiversity and sensory integrative challenges, combined with Reggie Bame's journey workshops, which were specifically for personal growth development so clinicians could become their best selves. Kim, what does the concept of moving to higher ground mean to you? The name Moving to Higher Ground was created by my colleague, co-created by my colleague, Kirsty Glasgow, who's an occupational therapist from Abbotsford in BC. And it was all about evolving one's being to the next place in their personal development. And that's limitless. Mm -hmm. So the concept of moving to higher ground enables us all to continue to evolve the conscious evolution of the human spirit, which mm -hmm. is the mission of Relationship Matters. I know for me personally, moving to higher ground was such a profound change for my whole life. Um, but I'd love, Kim, for you to speak on what makes it different and impactful. It's a process, an organic process, mm -hmm. that first of all, clinicians create an intention there's a, as you know, a complex questionnaire that you have to fill in in advance that helps establish your learning intent. What are the skills that you want to expand into? And then uh, pro, uh, kids are chosen specifically to meet those intentions. Mm -hmm. And the personal growth uh, aspect is individualized for mm -hmm. each person that comes to the program. Additionally, lectures and uh, reviews of information are based on what we're learning in the moment. It's such an unfolding process that uh, is collectively created by those who come. So the location, Kim, um, is at Zephyr Lodge. And how does Zephyr Lodge contribute to the experience? There's an energy to the location, for starters, that mm -hmm is just so inviting and safe mm -hmm. and inclusive as well as somewhat isolated mm -hmm. in a urban yet resort-like context. It's just extraordinary. In addition to that, the lodging allows individuals to have their own space for the most part and at the same time collectively share the uh, outdoor invitation, both of the light, the lake, and all of the various activities that are possible, um, invite clinicians to broaden beyond a clinical, traditional clinical setting. Mm. And these are the parts of using nature to help kids be, um, find their own being. There are so many locations throughout the property for group activity, as well as individualized possibilities where kids can find different ways to experience safety and growth. Mm -hmm. Additionally, you know, there are Rachel and Christy brilliant indoor spaces, the yoga studio, um, throughout uh, the indoor lodging area, there is multiple opportunities for sensory equipment. And part of the uh, opportunity last year was to learn how to set up equipment 
in ways that demand such creativity. I would like to ask both of you what your mm -hmm. favorite parts of moving to higher ground were. <laughs> Man, there's so many. <laughs> oh, that's a hard one for me because there were a lot mm -hmm. of life-changing experiences. Um, I think, gosh, I don't even know how to answer that question, Kim. I feel like there were so many opportunities of just personal reflection on who I am as a, how I want to be a clinician, how I want to grow. And it's, I think of many situations during that time mm -hmm. that impacted me and uh, it influences how I treat now, mm -hmm. but I think of the kiddos I treated during that time and how I responded to them and how I felt um, more present and how that impacts how I want to keep doing it in therapy outside of moving to higher ground. So being very present with my children, very in my own body and how that impacted our connection. So I think that was um, just a big le lesson I learned. That's beautiful. I think, I mean, you all saw me at moving to higher ground. It was a really transitional point in my life. I think there was a lot going on for me personally. And it was, I think that was kind of the pivotal moment for me on being able to make different choices on how I wanted to be one as a person and also as a clinician. Um, and it was an opportunity to kind of realize that, which was really powerful and is still carrying me through with different life choices and how I approach my treatment and my families today. So Kim, what should clinicians expect when they come? They can expect, first of all, to experience, uh, hopefully, an invitational environment where on the very first evening is a gathering of just getting to know each other, which is essential for creating safety. Mm -hmm. There are two clinical experiences a day where we have the opportunity to treat kids. Mm -hmm. Additionally, uh, there will be evening sessions for the experience of focused personal growth, art therapy directives, mm -hmm. um, capacity for um, breathwork sessions. These are parts of the organic uh, experience of moving to higher ground. I think in addition to the personal growth aspect, we should also highlight that concepts of neurodevelopmental treatment emerge, mm -hmm. understanding postural control, breath, uh, regulation, sensory processing, um, mm -hmm. attunement, like the mm -hmm. skill set is embedded in there mm -hmm, uh, of different lenses through which we can view our kids. Uh, and hey, I'm sorry. And and the glasses that we put on get a little bit finer in their mm -hmm. in their detail, don't they? The the practical skills. I when you mentioned that, I was thinking about the number of treatments that I do with my kids now that I learned at Moving to Higher Ground mm -hmm. with lycra, with breath work, with mm -hmm. positioning. My my mm -hmm. lens for positioning and how that impacts, um, like a whole like a whole big picture. It just, it's a lot of information, but it's like, wow, I've learned so much more about how position impacted so many other things. Mm -hmm. And my eyes saw it because we saw it with children in real time. And then we, so it's been, that's been incredibly helpful in my clinical reasoning and in my, in my treatments with kids. Mm -hmm. One of the things about the cohort of kids that you have is they are very special and unique. All moving to higher grounds have special kids and they are unique, but your kids bring a very specific uh, mental health component to it, mm -hmm. which uh, broadens out that holism mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of how we think about kids uh, and how we need all aspects of our clinical reasoning, uh, even when kids bring their own histories of developmental trauma. I think that was the big piece for me now is just how holistic yeah, my approach is being able to look at the whole system and see what's going on in the body, what's going on in our sensory systems, what's going on with my attachment with people yeah. in my life and with me as a clinician mm -hmm. um, and just the whole many layers and how it impacts a child and a family uh, completely changes the lenses that I look through. And now I feel like I'm constantly shifting through lenses sure. and giving myself a lot more information than I had before. <laughs> 
That's true. Rachel and Christy, as the local hosts of Moving to Higher Ground Zephyr, can you remind us of the dates of 2024? Yes, it will be June 19th through the 24th. And when participants apply, all lodging and food is also included. So you get to just come and hang out with us for that time. Mm -hmm. And how do they find the registration form? They can apply at our website, mm -hmm. mthgzephyr.com. Well, I know I'm counting down the days until June. Mm -hmm. um, we're so excited to do this again with you, Kim. You all mean so much to us mm -hmm. and we're so grateful. Yes, mm. very excited. Mm. Grateful to both of you for wanting to hold the passion and also bring forth the effort to manifest this opportunity for your colleagues who are looking to come from around the world. Pretty amazing. 